So the Seymour Pierce Henry II stakes is my final flat race of the week then and it's a two mile group three and the top one is Sinatra Molliette Surfer 150 Steve Ran Cricket Head Paul Rhodes Mr Ed Graham Clutterbuck Thunder Joshua Sutherland and Derry House Jim Murray so away they go then and who's going to be the first one to show they sort themselves out through the first furlong so it looks like 150 and 150 gets across to the inside rail and takes the lead and settles down there with the rest of them it's queuing up behind Cricket Head in second. We've still got to find out from Paul Rhodes whether that's named after somebody who's heavily into cricket or whether it's a, a different spelling of a tribute to the French trainer, Cricket Head. Could be either. I don't know whether Paul's into cricket or not. Anyway, 150's in the lead. And Mr. Ed, the talking horse, is in second. And Derry House is third. And Cricket Head is next. And then Thunder. And then Sinatra is cool at the back. And it's 150. Over that little road in the lead by three lengths to Mr. Ed second. And Derry House and Cricket Head, then Thunder and Sinatra. So it looks like they're quite happy to let 150 have the lead. And he's a good four or five clear now. Mr. Ed in second. Cricket Head's got the rail. And Derry House in between the two. And Thunder and Sinatra at the back so still 150 then for Steve Rand with a mile and a quarter to go Jock has a little look round to see where they all are there and, uh, I know Steve Rand is of the same sort of vintage as me and he's probably had Steve Cawthon round to have a bit of a ride out on this one and teach the jockey how to use the timing clock in his head As it looks like he's going to try and do a front running performance here and hold them all at bay. It's 150 in the lead then. From Sinatra in second. Thunder is third. And Cricket Head and Dairy House and Mr. Ed are virtually three in a line at the back. 150, the pace just dropping off a little bit. As Sinatra gets a little bit closer. Gap of a couple of lengths then to the remainder are headed by Cricket Head. But it's 150 still in front. Sinatra looms closer on the outside and now 150 just being asked to quicken the pace a little bit as they come into the final five and a half furlongs. Sinatra is in second. Hey, fascinating some of these long distance races. You see the tactics. The leading horse, the jockey just pushing along and then easing back and keeping them all behind. Sinatra second. Derry House trying to come out of that pack in third. And Cricket Head Thunder looks a little bit one pace. Mr. Head on the outside at 150. Will he be swamped? Or will he kick on again past the three furlong pole? It's 150 in the lead. Here comes Derry House to throw down a big challenge. Cricket Head now being pulled out. Jockey trying to decide whether they got the inside or the outside. But it's still 150 in the lead. They haven't got past him yet. And 150 still in front passing the two furlong pole. 150 in the lead. Derry House is second. Cricket Head is third. Thunder's trying to run in fourth. Sinatra's beaten. Mr. Head's never been in it. But it's still 150 into the final furlong. They're about to go in. And 150 is still in the lead. Derry House trying to close. Cricket Head can't win from there. Neither can the rest. It's 150. This is going to be a classic front running ride in the style of Steve Cawthon. 150. He's racing towards the line. They're not going to catch him, you know. 150. He's actually giving him a bit of a pull there. And he's won it on the bridle. He wins it easily. Absolutely easy win there for 150. And he's playing with them. Look at the jockey as they come to the line there. He just eases off. He knows he's won. And... Doesn't matter what Derry House tries to do, even past the line, 150 still taking it. That looks like it might be a pretty decent horse. 150 takes it for Steve Rand, Derry House second for Jim Murray, Cricket Head third for Paul Rhodes, and Sinatra was fourth for Molly at Surfer with Thunder fifth for Joshua Sutherland.